Well, I'm up. Coffee's brewing. Harold's chilling, aren't you, Harold? So, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I have to bring my rabbit on holiday with me. So he's literally been everywhere lately. He's been to Scotland twice. He's been to... Uh, he's been over to Mull. <laughs> he's been... Where else has he been? He's come here quite a lot. Um, he has been somewhere else, but I can't think. <laughs> so, yeah, he comes with me. That's his area of a night. He doesn't move off that mat because he doesn't like slippy floors. So I can contain him there pretty well. Not that he goes very far, bless him. And, yeah, this is caravan reality in the morning. Caravan is a mess. <laughs> so there's my bed. Looks like I've actually been wrestling in that. I don't know what was going on last night. You're right, Moo. And the awning looks just such a mess this morning. I think it's because when I got back from a walk yesterday, I see all my clothes were just absolutely soaked. So I'm trying to dry all those out. I then went over at 10 o'clock last night to wash all the dishes because the rain had finally stopped. But I think it's a good tidy up today um, before I go anywhere. I think it's actually looking quite nice. I have let Molly out once. Um, right, so when I say nice, it's not raining. Yeah, it's quite calm. So I am going to get a walk in today after I've done my caravan chores. getting there with my tidying up and the rain has started once again so what I've actually done is I've gone online and I have ordered a heated clothes airer thingy because I don't know why I've not thought of this before and so that can go up in the awning um, and it will be handy then for drying off like my walking stuff towels um, and I've ordered a flat one so I'm hoping I could actually put my walking boots upside down on it and I've read up if you put a sheet over the top stop it Molly if you put a sheet over the top you can get everything um, dry even quicker so it's only £40 in Dunelm so I'm off to pick that up from Bangor so that's a little change of plan there um, currently my walking boots are over in the shower block in the boiler room propped up against the boiler <laughs> drying out because they got absolutely soaked yesterday I'm not talking to you because you're so jealous honestly thinks I'm talking to somebody else look <laughs> um, she's quite funny when I watch um, the YouTube videos back on my TV here or even at home because she spots herself on telly she's so dumb she doesn't realize it's her so she barks at herself and then when she sees me it completely <laughs> freaks her out as to why i'm sat next to her and also why i'm on the tv not the brightest but no you moo <laughs> anyway the, the purpose of this not only to have my coffee stop sorry about I had to stop filming because she was just being a pain. Um, so she's had a tanning off now, look. <laughs> yeah, 
I thought um, I just run a few of the pitfalls and the benefits of having a caravan on a seasonal pitch because um, obviously this is a seasonal pitch um, a few times when I'll, I'll post pictures like on Instagram of like my own in a setup or something and then somebody will be like how big's your car how do you get all that in your car and it's like no <laughs> it's set up like that all year well from the start of March to the end of October that's when my season is so I'm now on my se um, seventh season here. Sorry, I just need a drink. Um, and the reason I got this caravan was I used to go camping when the girls were younger. I used to go on the the other site that the owners um, they they've actually got three places that they're, they're farmers. So they have the big site which is two miles away from here. And that's a big camping one, um, caravan, motorhomes, obviously. So it's a big touring pitch. And they also they've got, I think it's 80 seasonal pitches on that one. So Alary, the owner, she, she wanted me to move this one to over there because I get on so well with it. She's absolutely lovely. Um, and her husband, our well as well, he's, he's the farmer. Um, they kind of took me under the wing, I think, because I just used to go camping there with the girls. Um, don't know if they felt sorry for me, <laughs> I don't know, but honestly, I absolutely love them to bits. Such a lovely couple. So this site that I'm on here, um, there's 14 others on here. And it's one of those sites that if you if a pitch becomes available, which isn't very often, it can only be taken over by somebody who already knows sort of like so 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 it, you've got to know someone on the site already to get a pitch on here and it just keeps it that we all know there aren't going to be um different people on and off we all know each other um, which is really nice and it's one of those you can mix if you want to or you can keep yourself to yourself um, i do keep myself to myself but I'm sort of like, I'm friendly with everybody, um, but I'm not one to go and sit drinking of an evening or, or anything. Usually I'm too tired anyway, but it's such a, such a lovely site. It's just, I will do a little video walking around so you can see it, but it's just a little farm site. Um, I say there's only 14 of us and it's basically got a little shower block, which is two showers, three toilets, and that's it. There's nothing else here. So if you, if you like sort of like lots of entertainment and everything, this wouldn't be the site for you. <laughs> um, regarding fees, now the, it's just ridiculous. It's such a cheap site as well. And like loads of people say to me, oh, you must have loads of money. You have your caravan, you have this, you have that. I really don't. <laughs> absolutely do not i've been i've been a single mum for like 15 years so you can imagine trying to run my own business bringing up three children totally on my own no i'm by no means rich whatsoever and in fact this caravan only cost me a thousand pound um it is an older caravan but you know what it's got everything i need um and when i got it when the girls were obviously a fair bit younger Honestly, I just thought all my dreams had come true because I never would have thought I'd own my own like little holiday home, if you like. So it's got it's got good memories in that way. Um, so yeah, I paid a thousand pound for it. I've probably spent about four hundred maybe doing bits to it over the years. Nothing major. Um, biggest expense was my awning, so that cost. I think it was. £1,200 that was not last season the season before um, so yeah that was my big expense and my pitch fees well they actually went up last year which a few people on the site were kind of like I can't believe they've gone up so I was paying £900 a year and it's gone up to twelve hundred. Um, yeah £1,200 which break it down it's I know that it is close for four months £100 a month to have a caravan here and it is kept here all year round it doesn't get taken off the the pitch anymore it did used to but now it just stays here all year round uh close it up for winter and the only other expense is my electric and my gas now my gas i am still on the same you know the, the massive big bottles i'm still on the same gas bottle that i got the day i took the caravan over 
so I've not, I've, and I actually didn't pay for that bottle, someone got it me for free. So um, gas is like, it's next to nothing. I do need to get a new, new bottle in the next month, I think. And my electric, the electric has just gone up. So it was uh, averaging about £45 for the year. But because obviously electric prices have gone up and Alaria's got tied into some like higher tariff. So I think last year it was £120, which was a big jump. Um, but do you know what? It is what it is for what I pay for the, the pitch fees. I'm not really bothered. So yeah, that's how much it costs for me to have my caravan here. So yeah, by no stretch am I rich and paying for this big extravagant caravan on a luxury pitch it's very basic and it's just all i need so that's broken down the caravan thing pros and cons it's great having it pitched up permanently home from home you just literally put your clothes in you in your car your food all your animals <laughs> get here and you know it's all set up um so you haven't got to worry about anything like that the only downside i would say which might be for some people having a seasonal pitch is you're then tied to that particular place for however many seasons you're there so if you do like going off exploring i would say have your seasonal pitch in a good place where you know there's lots to do or like i do i then will i have my tent or my motorhome and i'll go off sort of more up north because obviously this is based in snowdonia so i do more like my other traveling up north so i can go and see all the other places um or you know you could you could go b&b and i suppose but then you're talking it's a bit more expensive so yeah that's the downside if you haven't got any means of going off you know and, and staying in other places but i'd definitely recommend it if you can find a, a good good pitch i'm waffling now aren't i but my coffee's gone cold too but never mind if you can find a good place for a seasonal one give it give it a go and you you're not you're only tied to it for a year if you don't like it you just you pitch up don't you but i am never ever giving this pitch up i've told the kids in a few years i'm going to be here permanently <laughs> um because we can stay here the full 10 months as well since you're paying your rent um they really they don't mind they're absolutely lovely so yeah here i am on my seasonal pitch waiting to go to Bangor to go and pick up my player Sarah and I'll do a few more videos as I go along the day along the day along the day does that make sense you know what I mean <laughs> anyway but out and out making the most of it being dry so that's all my stuff from yesterday drying off and look we're all tidy It does look so much nicer when it's all tidy. <laughs> I'm here longer than I thought I was going to be and Evie Rose has just phoned to say she isn't feeling very well so I'm going to go and um, pick her some soups and things up when I go and pick my air up and then I will probably come back here and I've decided I will go off and do a walk later on and I might even try and catch a sunset we shall see just thought I'd show you my bathroom as well so there was a shower in here which I ended up taking out because it was now the Euston ornament you were just as well getting a bucket of water and pouring it over yourself well no not even a bucket a teacup probably would have been better so yeah I took the shower out all the pipes are there so if I wanted to put it back in I would um, in time um, we actually had to use the shower it was um, after Covid when the site opened back up but Aleri didn't open up the facilities so she did say if you know you can go and use your caravan legally but um, because she was at risk herself she was vulnerable she didn't want to have to 
come and like you know keep keep an eye on the toilets and stuff and she just thought at least if we were all in our own units we were keeping ourselves safe as well so when this was announced the first thing I thought was oh my god that means we're gonna have to use the toilet like properly <laughs> because I'd only ever let the girls like have a wheeze in it I was like there's no way I can empty that toilet but I thought if I don't then it means we can't get to the caravan and honestly when they announced that when Wales said you know people from England can cross the borders and you can go to your holiday homes and stuff oh my god the, the relief I just thought oh my god I'm getting there and I'm gonna have to empty that toilet and do you know what now just doesn't even bother me um obviously I still only, <laughs> only use it for weaves but I just yeah I manned up <laughs> so to speak and went and emptied the chemical toilet um during covid so yeah as far as the shower i took as soon as um toilet blocks were all opened and everything and i read on the bathroom and i thought oh that shower can just come out so i used them over there where you've just seen and now my job is i am actually going to go and empty the chemical toilet which i won't show you because i'm sure you all know how a chemical toilet empties and i don't think you need to see my wee somehow <laughs> Yeah, I am getting all my jobs done um, because it just keeps drizzling and my plan is I want to as obviously as you know I want to get into banger but I want to kind of do it on a loop so go to banger pick up my area and then I want to get out on a walk um, so I'm just hanging back a little bit getting all these jobs done at least then I know when I do get back after my walk everywhere's going to be spick and span and I can relax Sorted let you see what's around the site obviously Harold's come out now so we all have our own like little garden bit so we have to cut the grass on this bit if you've got it fenced off then it's your responsibility so it's pretty handy because I could have it fenced off so Molly's safe Harold's safe I just step over my fence oh. <laughs> so this is me when I caravan my own in. As you can see, we're all nicely spaced out. And then that's the farmhouse there. And across here is where the um, showers and toilets are. So most of the other um, caravans are on mains water as well, but there's three of us on the end here. So there's these two and me there. Um, we can't get on the mains water because of where the pipes are situated. So you've got your toilet emptying point there. So it's just so basic. It's clean. And that's the main thing. And then... So down here of a night can be a bit <laughs> a bit precarious. We've actually put some solar lights up because sometimes in the dark it's a bit, oh my God. So as you see, it really is a working farm. This is the dishwashing point, which I am going to wash up my coffee pot in a minute and into the toilets. You see, it's very, very basic. Um, we all we all clean up after ourselves. We've got your two showers, they're 50 pence. So we all keep it clean, so that's all you need. It's really basic. Toilets, all nice and clean. And in here is where my, my boots are drying, look. <laughs> Let's see if they are dry actually. Oh gosh, they're not far off. I was going to put them on top of there because that's dead hot, but then I thought, God, what if something happens and they catch fire? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're drying off lovely there. I don't know why I've not thought about that sooner. Anyway, get my coffee pot washed up. 